Hola, in this video we are going to talk about pronouns relative. Hi, in this video we are going to talk about relative pronouns. The two relative pronouns we are going to be focusing on are who and which. Both of them can be substituted by that in defining relative clauses. Defining relative clauses are the ones that give us information about the person or thing mentioned and they don't appear with commas. So the information that they tell us is essential information. For example, the man who is sitting there is my dad. So it's pointing at that specific man sitting there and not any other man. The relative pronoun que is not optional. So even if you don't say it in English, it is there. And therefore, you must not omit it in Spanish. For example, in English, you can say the film I watched at the weekend was a comedy. You obviously refer to the film that and that the relative pronoun there refers to the film I watched at the weekend was a comedy. In Spanish you must use que. You cannot get rid of it. La película que vi en el cine el fin de semana era una comedia. The same happens with that clauses. So that clauses are those that do not refer to something that you, you have pre previously mentioned but they contain two verbs and usually you use them with opinion phrases such as I think that, I believe that and you can substitute it by so. So I think that or I think so. For example, I think my brother is stupid. So you could say, I think that my brother is stupid or I think my brother is stupid. That's perfectly valid in English. However, in Spanish, you need to use que. Pienso que mi hermano es estúpido. So this is not a relative clause, it's a that clause still a subordinate but it's another type but it, it works in the same way you tend to get rid of that in English I think that my brother is stupid you would just say I think my brother is stupid in Spanish it is compulsory pienso que mi hermano es estúpido same as I believe that creo que we're going to look at two more advanced structures which are lo que and el que, la que, los que, las que. Lo que translates as what or the thing that. For example, lo que más me gusta de mi ciudad es que es turística. The thing that or what I like the most about my city is that it is touristic. Second, el que, la que, los que, las que, there are four forms, obviously, because it depends on what comes after. They all translate as the one or the ones who or the one which. For example, the supermarket, the one that is in Northumberland Street, sells gluten-free products. El supermercado, el que está en la calle Northumberland, Vende productos sin gluten. So you would be using el que, la que, los que and las que if you refer to something that you want to emphasize um, within different supermarkets, for example in this case. So if you want to refer to that specific supermarket, then you would use el que, la que, los que, las que. However, you could just use a normal relative pronoun. The supermarket that is in Northumberland Street sells gluten-free products, no problem. It's just a way of 
emphasizing. This is more stylistic. It's more for a stylistic effect. If what comes is the subject, so instead of the supermarket, which is a masculine singular thing, you had something feminine, for example, the church that is in Northumberland Street, it would be la iglesia, the one that is in Northumberland Street, la que. If you refer to two supermarkets or more, you would say los supermercados, los que están, and if you refer to two or more churches, for example, las iglesias, las que están. As usual, whatever the subject says, it needs to go with any determinant, any pronoun, any relative pronoun, any adjective, etc.